Hello there, and welcome to a 25,000 subscriber celebration video. But I'm also celebrating running another tournament. That's right, the Diversity Cup is coming on the last weekend of this very month. That will be the 26th and 27th of November. And we're raising prize pool for it. So if you want to go donate, go to paypal.me forward slash AECOH. Every single penny of your donations will go to the players as part of a prize pool. The event, if you've not seen it already, is going to be a you can only use one of each unit event. The very first in Company of Heroes history. And without further ado, let's start this practice game and start getting for a feel if this crazy event is going to be any good. Three, two, one. We've got Alpern starting in the south as the Wehrmacht. We've got the mighty Owl-like, beautiful man, that is Findeed. Okay, starting as the USF in the north with Airborne Company. This is the Master League variant of Fame and Vill Approach. One that myself and KPEN97 worked on in combination with top players to make what I believe is the best on map in competitive Company of Heroes. But anyway, we're here today to watch the first proper replay of a formats that is batshit insane this this stuff is absolutely crazy you can only use one of each unit findeed of course is going to use airborne company to help him through that and how is that going to help if you're a new player i mean everyone else is immediately clocked why that's good well pathfinders air dropped 50 cal paratroopers and um it you know that really helps you with your capping potential i think Pathfinders are going to cap up north. We've got that rifleman going down south for now. And what's Elpern going to go for? Well, he's Wehrmacht, which some people have theorized is going to be a hard way to play in this format. Well, he's going to go with defensive doctrine to give him access to the Ostrupen squad and also the Stug E, which uh, should not be sniffed at because it will really help him with the uh, manpower attritional battle. I'm live on Twitch, and we're here waiting for 25,000 subscribers. We're hoping I actually have it by the time this video is online. So uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And also, if you want to make this prize pool bigger than um, bigger than $300, which is what it is at the moment, please feel free to donate your hard-earned cash. Every penny goes to the players. Have I done enough shilling? I think so. Let's start casting properly. Grenadier's gone south for now. Steady and up. the rifleman capped their fuel. Meanwhile, Alpern's taking his own fuel in the north. And he's putting yep. down the Siegfried line. He's also spotting on the west side of this MG. Knowing something could be advancing from the north. Pathfinder has, however, gone for the victory point over there. So, interesting situation. I suppose with less infantry on the field one can uh, do rash things with their machine guns. So Findeed's troops going down south. He's gone for an early lieutenant. Why not? That'll give him a better backbone of infantry. That's why I personally think the US may be one of the best factions to play with. Nice double team in the south by Findeed. Playing from London versus Elkhorn. Playing from Sweden. Burns going for... Uh, munitions cut off here, cutting off this munitions. Also, you can push up against the mansion house. Not too much damage done to this grenadier. It's down to three models. And the riflemen are going to push up. My girlfriend's just closed the door. I do have a very deep voice. And it's a rather small house. And she's, I believe, trying to do a discussion. Can't blame her. Wren's come straight back out to defend. There is more heavy cover on this competitive version of that. And Elfhorn seeks it out. MG pushes up. The players have warned me that they love this format so far, but they do think it's a little bit slower in the early games. We'll have to see if that's the case. Rifleman push up. MG backs away. Looks to reposition. Will it be able to do so in time? Only an Ostrupen and a Pioneer to defend. He's already down to three crew members. Maybe he's going to have to retreat very shortly. Turn the game down a little bit, turn my mic up a little bit just to make sure the mix is good. There we go, should be better. MG goes down whilst I was tinkering with the audio options. Rifleman won't be able to do anything about it, but maybe this lieutenant could. 
Right, Bren's going to hard retreat. Very expensive one with 30 man power each. And to be honest, the Austrian don't look... Oh my god, he's lost an MG in this format. That's brutal. Brutal for Elper. It really is. In fact, he may lose the Austrian here. What a terrible start for the Swede. Meanwhile, we've had an amazing bundle made over the bushes by the Panzer Grenadiers, saving the day for the Wehrmacht. He's now going to defend with those Sturmgewehrs. What a fantastic start this has been. Really has been good stuff. Pushes them away. He's going to have to... Yep, he's got a squad reinforced. It's a Grandi with so low health. Rear echelons can blow on them. They might suffer here. Oh, no. And there's an M20 as well. They're down to three models. We do not go for the Faust on that little amount of health. Ostrupen pushing up. We've got an MG as well. Those Panzer Grenadiers, where are they right now? They're in the north on the munitions point. What's he going to do? Is he going to sacrifice the rear echelons? He is. He smokes it out. He takes the MG. Sacrificing the rear echelon squad. Oh, I love that frantic, messy past the parcel exercise with the MG there. And, of course, Alpern builds another one. really have to iron out the rules if you lose a I don't think you can re-crew re um, support weapon if you already have built one. Surely that is a rule. It's going to make losing a support weapon a really big deal if it wasn't already. Even bigger of a deal. Oh, Fendi, you naughty boy. He's going for a 50 cal knowing it's a different type of unit to an, an MG42. Oh, no. Oh, that's going to be so difficult for Alpern now. But don't fear not, everybody, because unfortunately for Findeed, Alpern is better at Company of Heroes than him. Alpern, of course, got to second in a major tr trophy tournament in the summer, in May, in, at GCS3, the third ever fully live tournament for Company of Heroes. Yeah, not a bad idea. My side of mice. Oh, here comes the 2-2-2 versus the rear armor of the M20. He's using smoke yet again. We've got Lieutenant waiting with Bazooka, but they've been pushed around quite severely there. Bazooka needs to get some shots in. There he does. M23 jumps out. That's naughty. He's attacking. The vehicle there. And is able to get out of there. Just about. He's holding fire to keep the ammunition in the turret to get some vital shots off. What play by Alpern? What play? And we have a replay, so we're able to take that fully on board for people that didn't fully understand what happened. Okay, so he calculated that the bazooka of the lieutenant was going to finish him off here, so he couldn't unload on the M20. So he reversed away, knowing he has full vision with the pioneers in the house, by the way, then goes on hold fire calculating that he has just enough ammunition in the turret that auto cannon and it is very much an auto cannon in more words than one so he then reverses back over here then unleashes the whole fire to finally take out the m20 knowing that the lieutenant was no longer in position what a play by the swede what a play that's the kind of stuff that got him to uh that famous runners-up position against Lugnest in the summer in a massive tournament we had. Really, really nifty micro mechanics. But unfortunately for him, Findeed is doing okay. He's got two machine guns. He's got Stuart out now. And if you notice on the map, he's got pretty damn good control. Good clip there by Clinker. Panzer Grenadiers jump in the mansion. Stuart versus Grenadiers in the centre. Goes to get away. Airborne now out. He's got options available. I think he's going to wait for the LMGs. Yep, there you go. He could go for them now. 120 munitions, though. That's a hefty cost. It's been a good game so far, would you say? I certainly would. And Grenadiers going to just hide, perhaps. Oh, Stuart found him. now. 
He does have a pack 40 out. He's got a yes. grenadier as well. High t hot tailing. That's Stuart trying to get into position. And there's the tallet. <laughs> kind of created enough confusion and enough um, calamity for the Stuart to just drive in an unnatural position there. Panzer Grenadiers, of course, was the bait, forcing an, an unnatural angle. And eventually, the Grenadiers in the packs, I feel, were going to pressurize them anyway. So I really do feel like Alpern kind of helped create the positioning of that Stuart onto the teller there. He drew him away with the bait. He had, and he was thinking of using the pack and the Grenadier to push him into the teller. So it all worked out in the end. Certainly warmed up now, having tasted his own blood, losing that MG42. Said machine in first currently firing a, a vo volley of hot lead onto this retreating pioneer. Ooh, Pathfinder looks a bit too now. Granat Werfer operating on the. Uh, he gets stuck if he gets battle phase two now. Yes, the command points. What's the MG doing? A bit of dodgy fire by Finn. Meanwhile, we've got Hamza Grenadiers forcing away the rifle squad. Airborne did go for the M1919s. What's Finn D going to do from here? It's 90 fuel. He does not have the major quite yet. Yeah, and he's 120, of course, to get that. I feel he's been stuck in his tracks a little bit. One thing is for certain, by the way, the uh, tournament the concept is, is to limit 80 points. guns and machine guns, let's face it. But it's going to lead to a lot more um, diversity and variety as a result. So I'm very keen to see how that plays out. But the main thing is if you get a medium tank, you may only be able to get one of them. But there's not going to be two AT guns to stop them in their tracks. Um, so, although. Oh, Finn sees a thing doesn't like. Triple dot there. I wonder what that's about. He needs to be careful in that house with very little health. One little brush, and it's dead. If he hit that corner with the 2 to 2 there, it may have died. Yeah, basically, I'm. I'm saying it may be able to drop AT guns from the sky for Findy, but I'm not sure how much value that'll present. Ambulance the next choice from the, the Brit, playing with the US. He definitely needs it, because look at these airborne are arriving onto the field with a fraction of the health they should do. Here come those M1919s, though. May want to retreat, that's what it is behind heavy cover. There you go. Had a machine gun waiting, but wasn't able to put down effective fire. Finn's got a battle out with just this, to be honest. And he's all the way back and face. The only outward squad right now is this low health rifleman, and to be honest, may as well retreat them as well. There's no point this being on the field. It's at 50% health on each of the five soldiers in that squad. Let's check out Alpern's teching. He's at battle phase two. He's at 70 fuel. This Pioneer squad um, has been repairing the 222, not building tier 3, but he could build it now if he wanted. Or he could get the Stug E. It's an option. I'm hoping he does that. Yeah, there we go. The little Stug that could. He may only have a Chub. But he's going to do a lot of damage with it. He's very happy as well. Look at that little face. Enough of that. And we're going to get the power drops AT gun. That's exactly right, Nubius Nate. It's his mantra. We're going to get the M1 AT gun in answer. So his current AT options are the, uh, the M1 and the Bazooka. Oh, nice health damage already. Meanwhile, Pathfinders lead the way from within the cloak with machine gun and rational support so he does have another bazooka as well firing over the hedgerow 
be honest, the rear is probably the best unit to pick up the M1 with, but he may do so with the rifleman, it looks like. Using a little bit of that combined arm passive ability to sprint into cover there. Meanwhile, in the west, there we go, the machine gun there stolen with the pathfinders pushing away the Ostrupen. Alright, he's got the M1, but he needs to heal because the units that took the M1 were already unhealthy. That's why you should have used the rear echelon IMO. He's not saved any time, and it's going to cost more to reinforce now. Meanwhile, airborne push up north. 2 is going to see to that. A little bit of a situation developing in the south. LMG versus HMG, Pathfinders. The has been with an MG 2 racking up the kills, 7 in counting, low health, airborne, very costly to reinforce, doesn't want to keep doing that, 50 cal, depletes the resistance of the Panzer Grenadiers there, and the Stuggy is going to go for a kill on retreat possibly, will he go whole fire mode perhaps, no. Already gone past the point, point of that being possible. For a triple P. Ooh, bazookas in the rear. Knowing he can only have eight 180 guns, he needs a mobile AT platform. Bunker built by Alper, and that's a good use of manpower, considering you can only have one of each unit. Crush coming in. I love it. The rear echelons though. Oh, nice volley. What's the 2 2 2 thinking? That's surely dead. Yeah, there you go. That's a bit dodgy from Alpin. For every cool thing he did with the 2 2 2 earlier, he's made up for it now. Unfortunate. Chinese pinned and forced away. Grandiers can't do too much to deal with it at the moment. What else we got going on? Pathfinders hit Vet 3, gaining extensive rifle training. <laughs> I really need that mod that improves things dramatically. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, so quick to destroy the bunker. Meanwhile, we did have the smoke barrage used by the GRW 34. Thanks, Spiruki. If you've got any uh, money to spare, we would appreciate it in the prize pool at $300 at the moment, hoping to get to 600 total. Ooh. Again, he could lose this here. He needs to be careful. Panzer Grenadiers are going to see to this situation. He exit the north side for a safe retreat. I said safe retreat, but oh my, just really drop models. Will he get in a... He may get focused here if Alpern's fast enough. He may be thinking about that. He tried. Does he get it? Yes, he does. What a squad wipe by Alpern. There's an attack move with the machine gun mid volley to change directions and pick him up on the three. Great play by the Swede. Nice dodge by Findy from the um, Grenadier. I'm, I'm feeling that these players are playing at a high standard, which is very pleasing to watch. I'm enjoying it immensely. And look at this diversity. It's lovely to see. Really nice um, unit compositions at the moment. Panzer 4 on its way. For Alper to give him a real punch to pack. Side. The bazooka to pick up there, should somebody want it. Morton now at five kills. Veterans at two. Going to the south side may cause this stolen MG42 some issues. That Tala mine there still not been triggered. Timely retreat there, they were very bunched up. That could have been a wide otherwise. And door A3 coming out of the fin. Next. Airball capital north. 
were pushed away in the centre and she was pushed away in the south. So it looks like a battle of two horses. Maybe the sensors can push here. This is a mechanical beast. The flood of the M1. And two shots now. Three. Fanciful's going to be out of action for a while. We only have a Veteran C1 Pioneer, so this will take a while to repair to full. Meanwhile, in all 50 cal and rear echelon push in against the Panzer Grenadiers with their 14 kills. Here comes the Sherman. Currently got loaded the armor piercing rounds and he's got prioritized vehicle on. He's going for the kill, but the path stops him in his tracks. But he does get the kill, however, on the poor old Stuggy who had been shot at by the rear echelon squad previously, taking it out. I thought he was going to go for the Panzer Ball. That's my situation awareness for you. The enemy is taking our territory. If you say so, dude, never heard of it, to be honest. Ooh, that um, US mortar is doing some work now. Meanwhile, the German mortar is just a mobile smoke machine. More alpha and disco for children's parties. Wow. Pax barely done anything so far. Other than stopping the Sherman from going even further into his territories. Corbin, that Talamine and Bazooka fire that have been the stars of the show from on the AT front. AT guns have been taking a backseat this game. Ray Rashlands going north, Panzer Grenadier is lying. Wait, or are they just having a beach holiday? Oh, no. Duty calls, and they jump back into the mansion. Sherman's ready to rock and roll yet again, but this Panzer IV has taken so long to repair. Maybe Captain Sprice, maybe. Jin Dobri. Panzer Grandiers do come around the side, but the Sherman's there waiting for them. Could cause an. Big problem, no. Fortunate shot there for Old Boy. Meanwhile, in the south, Pathfinders take the seek refuge behind heavy cover for now. We've got LMG Ostrupen on four kills. Also looking to help out their Grenadier cousins. And the Panzer Ford ready. Well, he wasn't even fully ready, but he's going to have to push him back into battle. Oh, good, good luck for that, mate. Glad you get to play other games. I certainly don't. I'm too old, too busy. Fancy a rifle and he gets one anyway. Oh, and he's going to go for a Stug G this time instead of a Stug E. Not a bad option. Here comes the most effective armoured fighting vehicle of the Second World War for the Germans. Pound for pound. AFV King. Look at this vast swathe of blue territory Finn currently occupies. It's looking good for the, the Brits. If not, this LMG showdown is certainly not looking as good. Oh, Sherman. Already causing issues. P. Grenz capping fuel. Meanwhile, in the north, Lieutenant's done the same. We've got 50 cal in the mansion house because the victory point situation is looking remarkably stable for both players. Alperm with a crap ton of manpower at the moment. Oh, Bazooka Fire coming from the side. One more shot to penetrate and kill. He gets it with the Sherman. That's all he needs. Rear Echelons did the great work, though, in the ambush style assault. Pantacle, where were you when your stud needed you? Water could trigger the Tala. Needs to be careful, I think. He's on top of his own mine. Ooh, and there we go. We've got the HVAP from the M1. 
Yeah, good idea, Clinker. The pack 43 could help right now. Because we've got a Jackson from Vintage. He's going to be a really strong position if it goes to tank battles. So, yeah, I think you're right, Clinks. He may need the pack 43. Will he see it the same way? We have the Pioneer back in base. Could build it right now, maybe here? Something like that. Really, oh, the pack's been caught out. Oh, no. It goes so badly for the Swede. He cannot recover from this, surely. That's an oof moment for certain. What was he doing so far forward with it? As I say, he's had such great moments in this game. He's just let the side down a little bit. Goes for sector artillery. Tries his best to get it back. But unfortunately, the wind down on that was not fast enough. We do have a reinforced repair bunker for Elpern. That's why he went defensive doctrine. Cool. I mean, he's got one tank, though, however. And he's building the pack there. There? I know you can't build it in your base sector, so I think it couldn't go there in fairness, but there feels a little bit too out of the way, I would say. Fighting pit use of Vindy, so he's using his manpower resources in a slightly different way there. We're going to have a lot of emplacement play, it seems. Where else could he have put that? I mean, the base sector, I surely he could put, yeah, surely there maybe, I don't know. Anyway, back in the north, Jackson finds the Panzer IV. Do we have the Pack 43 ready to fire? It is, but it's not facing the right way at the moment. He's trying to keep him in position. Here it comes, that big cannon. Panzer IV looks... Oh, there you go, that'll help. He's also got the Austrian ready to Faust. One big shot from that Pack 43. Doesn't even need it. May go for the Jackson next. He may even get the Jackson, everybody. What a comeback. Will he get it? He's looking for it. He needs that shot. Oh, he doesn't need it. The, pow the Panzer Faust takes it out. What a comeback from the Swede. Findy's armor is absolutely disintegrating before our very eyes. The power of the Pack 43 indeed. Indeed's fuel resources are at 65, but Alpern now has the Panzer advantage and the Pat 43 advantage. Oh, he really tempted him in there with seemingly dodgy play, pulling the Panzer IV back over here, and then it was all about that Pat 43 saving the day at the right moment. Indeed's reduced back to an infantry army, but for him, he does have two packs himself. He's got a mortar. He's got two MGs, and he's got four infantry squads. That's really decent. One of the, I didn't, I don't count the rear echelon, but to be honest, I may as well because the bazooka work from the rear echelons has been fantastic. So what should he do now? Maybe go for indirect fire. He's already built the mortar though, so he has no other options. <laughs> oh no, he can go for Scott, of course. That would be good. Scott and Pat Howitzer, of course. I think they're classic choices for him. Scott and Pack Howitzer. And um, that would really help him push Elpern off the map. Will he see it that way? Meanwhile, Elpern's relying on his machine as he targets the lieutenant, keeps him out of position. Yeah, for now, Clinker. Well, you say that, but it, it technically shouldn't because the AT guns and the bazooka squads, plural. I forget, I don't think Findeed has suffered. He has suffered a lieutenant wipe earlier on, and he rebuilt the lieutenant, which is rarely seen in the world. Got the shirts and now on the Panzer IV, hitting veterans of two. Nice grenade there, forcing away the Austrian, doing a lot of damage. This is not a Sherman. It certainly isn't a Sherman anymore. Oh my god, it's not a Pathfinder either! Holy shite! Absolutely destroyed that Pathfinder. They're all crushed into a blob of humanity. Alpern enjoyed that. He gave it the old XD of excitement. Yep, <laughs> Clinker. I think that's a war crime. I think you might be right. 
What a funny moment that was. Do you have the 18A? Do you have the Pat 40 watching but not able to capitalize on it? Back in base. The boys are coming back out. Switching the 50 cal around as well under mortar fire. Looking to possibly retake the victory point in the center. He's retaking the one in the south at the moment with the rear echelons and the lieutenant. Uh, I love the GCS tag on the back of the Panzer Force, by the way. It's very happy. Don't know why it has that, though. Any other GCS? There's a GCS insignia. The original logo from 2017. In Leicester. The ill fated form terrible audio quality. My sway, Howard Stolen. Yeah, well spotted, Blinker. Offspring in the build, and another Jackson for Findeed. Well, he's definitely going to round out his infantry army now because he's got the anti tank covered in the pack 40 and its much, much bigger brother. So, yeah, I'm enjoying the Ospin choice. Get that Flat Panzer Fear on the field. Cash under attack from the rear echelon. Cash is another good choice in this game mode, I feel. Right, we've got this first. I want to count the amount of rounds in the Austin. Anybody guess the amount of rounds in an Austin cannon at the start? Let's count. Here we go. Before the reload. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen, everybody! Woo! And Findeed's so screwed because his AT guns were left in the open. As the Ospin absolutely annihilates them. And he just says, yeah, that's my AT guns. Managed to reload now on the 16. Shots. is ready for use. <laughs> been a little bit salty there, I feel. It's been a good game. Sounds a little bit past tense now, though. Or at least he thinks he is. Maybe he's just tired. And his will to carry on has come to an end. He's sacrificed all of his units into the Maelstrom. I believe the game is over. That was fun whilst it lasted, though. And um, let's check the um, sub count see where we're at on that let's have a little look see over here we're at still at 24988 so technically my 25,000 subscriber video is uh, we are doing this on Twitch we will upload it to YouTube I'm sure I'll have 25k by the time I get there but if you guys want to help out it's the following command just go here and click yes if you'd like to but uh, the bigger thing I'm shilling for right now is trying to get a better um... so there's two things you could do for me if you really wanted I will cast another game for you um, I get a better prize pool for this tournament we're at $300 I wish it was $300,000 $300 at the moment and we're looking to get it to around 600 and thank you to whoever's just subscribed we can check it out live Chris. Thanks, Chris. Oh, no, that was the first person to subscribe. Sorry. Hang on. <laughs> uh, Naligal. There you go. Naligal. She is, guys. Thank you very much. 11 away from 25k. War Mongrels. I'll have a look at it now, dude. Let's have a check. Maybe this is the co-killer that I've been waiting to diversify my uh, channel all about. Ooh, looks interesting. I won't play it with sound. Mind you, I can do that technically, can't Gorgeously I? Gorgeously horrifying copyright. and impressively modernized. Your camera can fully rotate Ooh. with increased audio. Whoa, 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 whoa. This looks like commandos. I like it a lot. 
details like radio broadcasts playing if you zoom in close enough. Physics factors into gameplay, particularly hiding corpses. Dude, Explosions cool. send body parts flying across the eastern front. The sound design strikes with impactful precision, bolstered by an excellent orchestral score and wonderful voice acting. The level of polish on display is staggering, pulling you into every fight as you slowly work your way through village streets, prisons, and military bases. Just as impressive are the game's accessibility options. There's full rebinding support, all core Whoa. functions are clearly labeled on the user interface, wow. and further refined command functions exist for those who want maximum control. Indicators for enemy detection are based on both darkening vision cones and high contrast colors, as well as an optional overlay that mm. further highlights tactical elements. Plus, cool. you can plan out your team's next actions with a dedicated planning mode that slows down ah! time to give yourself a breather oh, like if it. you're in a tight spot. Once you've adapted to the learning curve, the experience is joyfully methodical, both tense yet relaxingly slow-paced. This rock-solid execution extends to the narrative design. The game boasts a German prison simultaneously in PDS. Dude, this looks slow slow amazing! Okay, you've sold me. I like that game. How much does that cost? I like the look of that. Looks like something I can play with one hand. My favorite kind of game. Dude, that looks awesome. Buy it through GTA. $10, not bad. Is it new as well? War. Mong. Rels. £18, not too shabby. But as you say, could get as low as £10. Can't believe helping 